Hi guys, what's up and how's it going? I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. For today's video, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and do a foundation declutter. I was recently going through my stuff and I'm like, there's so many foundations here that I just want to get rid of. I have a few friends who are in need of foundation, so I'm like, perfect, perfect timing. I did want to save this, you know, for like maybe May time so I can do a whole full-fledged declutter series. But I think I'm going to start working my way with a few sections here and there for now at least but i did want to tackle the foundations because there's so many like i said that i just don't need and use and i feel like somebody else would be able to just get use out of the products as opposed to it just sitting here you know i will go ahead and leave my declutter playlist in the description box i have one amazing one like the eyeshadow palette one like i really got ra rid of a lot um but the other ones are good too basically my whole point of these kind of videos is to do it in a no games being played style so it's not like i'm feeling bad for anything it's not like oh i don't know my goal is really to get rid of possibly 40% of my foundations. Um, so I really have high hopes. I think we're going to do well. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys enjoy this. You've been asking me to do a lot of declutter videos. So we are beginning today. <laughs> Okay, fine. Let's go. Okay, so as you guys already know if you do watch my shop my stash videos I do keep my foundations and concealers in this drawer So I took out my concealers just for the sake of the video, but here is basically where I keep all my foundations um, BB creams tinted moisturizers and all of that I counted everything and I have 29 in total which I'm kind of like Leora like when did this ever happen because I used to be the kind of girl who only had one foundation or tops tops two you know this is not how it's going to be organized I am in the process of organizing my makeup so they're just like chilling like this but this organizer is amazing I got it from the container store I'll leave a link down below but let's go ahead and get started very excited actually all right so <laughs> So firstly, I have these two foundations. These are the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Foundation. So one of these I got in Cancun, I want to say almost three years ago. And then one I recently purchased from Ulta. I kept the one that I got from Cancun for a long time because they didn't sell it in the States. Uh, but now that they are in the States and I can get it easily at Ulta, I don't need the old one that I have because honestly, I just wanted to just have it because it's so freaking good. But I don't know if I would actually use it on my face, you know, after having it for so long. So this is the new one. This is the old one. I'm going to get rid of this one. Definitely going to keep this. It's going to be my favorites video so far reeking amazing so one down one keep okay next foundation that i have here is from gorgeous cosmetics this is the base perfect liquid foundation i used it a nice amount of times i don't know a while ago i don't remember if i like it or if i don't but i haven't used it in such a long time and honestly it doesn't necessarily intrigue me really so i know a friend that's gonna probably get more use out of this than i will so i'm gonna declutter that the next two foundations here are foundations that I know I'm definitely going to keep. So this is the CoverGirl um, True Blend Matte Made Foundation. You guys can see I finished up a nice amount. I really do enjoy this. Um, there's a pump to it, which is great. I like to mix this in with the oil or wear it on its own, and it gives pretty full coverage without feeling heavy. And then you guys already know this is a like third or fourth repurchase of mine. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Stick. So bomb. I can't believe I have this in my life again. It comes with very, very little, which is kind of a downer, but I'm telling you, this is like probably the best stick foundation that I ever found in my existence of living in this world. So I'm gonna keep both of these. Okay, the next foundation that I have here is from Too Faced. This is the Peach Perfect Foundation. Ah, I don't know. This one is such a hard one because it's in the lightest shade. So firstly, I think that the shade is totally off. Um, I do love a lot of products in the peach line, but this one kind of smells like headache-related smells. You know what I mean? And I can't stand that. And then also... This made my pores look freaking huge. I was looking at myself in the mirror when I was wearing this and I'm like, no, there's no way in hell my pores are that huge. This makes my pores look bigger than they really are or maybe they really are that big. I don't know, but as much as I want to keep it because it was so pricey and as much as I want to love it, I think I'm just going to get rid of it. I, maybe I'll give it to, yeah, my friend has oily skin, so maybe this will work for her, but I don't know. I guess if you have dry skin, I don't know if this is a dry skin friendly foundation because, yeah, for me, it just kind of made everything like even more drier and I mean, it's showed my pores so much more so i'm gonna get rid of this the next foundation we have here is the revlon youth um fill plus blur foundation i spoke about this in my disappointing products of 2018 definitely gonna get rid of it i don't like it it has a grayish undertone to it and it just doesn't look good on the skin so bye okay what else what else can i talk about here okay let's do this one this is the maybelline 24 hour foundation also one that i spoke about in my video um i'm gonna get rid of this i really don't like it it's very very thick in consistency it has a pump which is great but I don't know. Ew, how did that get so gross? This is gonna say goodbye. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good. Let's just take some stuff from here. So, 
this is one that I'm definitely going to get rid of as well. As much as I do love the packaging, I do love Urban Decay. I just feel like this was very, very thick for my skin. And even if I blended it with a oil, it still just did not perform nicely. There's still a nice amount of product in here. So I think this would be great for if you have oily skin. My friend does have oily skin. So I'm probably going to give this to her as well as like 60% of all these foundations. But I'm going to get rid of that. This is one that I've actually been just testing out for this week so far because I recently purchased it from Ulta. It's the Healthy Foundation by Physicians Formula. I really, really like it. I think the the shade looks darker in the actual bottle, but it, it pretty much does suit me pretty well. Um, it's buildable. It's not like crazily full coverage, but it feels very light on the skin. And I like the doe foot applicator to it because it's like... A, yeah, it has like a doe foot applicator. It kind of has a weirdish smell. I'm not gonna lie But once you put it on it's not there anymore, but I just I'm not obsessed with the smell um, Regardless, I do like how this looks on my face so far. So I'm gonna keep it Okay, this is one that I'm gonna get rid of I know I don't know like let me tell you so this is the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place foundation i wanted to love this because everyone does and i'm like okay is there something maybe wrong with me that i don't really like it maybe the shade is just not for me i do believe that it's the lightest shade in one w1 so that's possibly why it just does not look good on my skin but i try to mix it in with other foundations or even with the oil and i just kind of feel it looks like a little bit pasty on my skin i don't know i don't know uh, i might pick up a deeper shade maybe in the future or something but i know that this one specifically for sure does not work out for me i used it like two or three times and i'm like i'm not feeling this so bye Okay, this is one that I'm definitely going to keep. This is the Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow um, Foundation from YSL. Seriously amazing. I can probably get rid of everything here and just keep this. It's like the ultimate best foundations, tinted moisturizers, but it gives pretty great coverage. I don't wear it often because it's a deeper shade. You guys can see it's like dark. But, oh my gosh, for the summer, it looks so good on the skin. Like, so fresh. So I'm going to keep that. Okay, then I have two of these Givenchy foundations. So one is in a deeper shade and one is a little bit more of a lighter shade. We have shade number um, six and shade number four. Um, shade number four will probably work out better for me. But I like to wear shade number six sometimes too. Maybe I like to mix and match. I think I'm going to keep both of these. Yeah, I do kind of like them. I like them. Okay, I'm keeping it. The next foundation that I have here is the Healthy Elixir by CoverGirl. Um, so you guys can see hopefully that I finished up a nice amount. But I do think that this is kind of getting old. I do like this. But I know that I had it in my collection for a solid two, almost three years. Because I remember that when I did a tutorial on this uh, like three years back. So I'm going to declutter this because I think the shelf life is definitely over. But I probably would repurchase this, you know, at Ulta at some point. Um, it's a pretty good foundation. What's the expiration date? Yeah Yeah, January 18. All right, see told you I knew I had it for so long. Okay, let's just pull out the products from here So I have this ultra repair tinted moisturizer by first aid beauty. I really don't like this I don't know what's up But it really just does not look too good on my skin It has a little bit of a thicker feel and the color is just way off like they don't have a lot of shades to choose from, so it's very, like, minimal. Like, they have fair, light, medium, and maybe medium deep, something like that. And it's just, it doesn't work with my undertone whatsoever. Um, possibly a different shade would, but this one I use, like, four or five times, and it just, something was, like, it just didn't suit my skin tone well. So I'm going to get rid of this, and it's fairly new, so hopefully so I'll find someone who it suits well. And I have the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. I really love this. You guys know I have, like, one or two more uses out of this. Still haven't finished it up, but I've gone traveling with this. Um... I use it when I don't know what, what I want to wear. It's just a great all-around kind of like foundation slash BB cream, but it gives like medium to almost full coverage if you build it up. It's amazing on the skin. I love it. Gonna keep it even though there's like two uses left. I don't know if you guys can see this one, but it's literally almost done. This is actually what I wore by my brother's wedding. This is the Fab uh, Power Fabric Foundation by Giorgio Armani. Really nice. So I have this shade right here in shade number four, and then this shade, which is 3.5. I'm just thinking which one would work out better for me. Um, I don't need to, so one second. So I'm going to keep the shade number four, and I'm going to give um, the 3.5 shades shade <laughs> probably to my sister, even though this looks like a little bit too dark, but it's nice if I blend it out onto my neck, and I can kind of mix it in with other foundations. Um, but I'm going to keep this one and get rid of this. Okay, we're doing pretty, pretty good here. We then have this Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Creme Foundation. Um... <laughs> 
I don't know if this works out if you have a dry skin. Um, this definitely has a very pasty and thick feel to it. Um, it works pretty nicely if I mix it in with an oil, but not as good as I would want it to work, even if I mix it in with oil, if that makes sense, you know? I feel like um, this would probably be geared for people who do have oily skin. Um, so I'm going to gift it to a friend. I used it, I think, like five, six times. Try to make it work. It looks nice on the skin, and it does give almost pretty full coverage, I should say. But it's not like my foundation that I go to when I want a full coverage look like i it doesn't really like interest me so i'm gonna get rid of this okay next thing that we have here is this becca skin love weightless blur foundation with this one it is a little bit of a pain in the ass to work with however once you get it on the skin and actually perform it actually like looks really really nice and it lasts a long time with this one i'm willing to work with it because i feel like it actually looks better than the previous becca foundation that i spoke to you guys about um and i do enjoy it a bit more plus i think the color is like it suits my skin tone better so i'm gonna keep this one plus it's like fairly new to me so i want to get more use out of it okay so so far i got rid of 11 i for sure need to get rid of three more so okay let's do this one this is the essence fresh and fit awake makeup uh, foundation i really do like this i feel like it does oxidize a teensy teensy bit but it wasn't my favorite video in the past and i actually have not used it in a very long time so now that i'm decluttering i'm like hey i forgot about you so i'm probably going to use it hopefully in the, in the next shop my stash or something like that but i'm going to keep this because it's so affordable and it actually looks great on the next one that we have here is this one this is the revlon insta filter foundation this is one that i use pretty consistently i would say not this past summer the summer before that so i don't know how old this is it's not my go-to favorite i feel like the sponge is like terrible you definitely have to use this with like a beauty blender or a, a brush but this sponge just did not do justice for me um with that being said i haven't used it in a very long time and uh, I don't know. I, I I need to get rid of more. So I'm just thinking I'm just gonna get rid of this. It doesn't interest me to an extent where I'm like crazy over it. Um, and I know someone who can probably get more use out of it than I will. So declutter. Um, okay. Next foundation that I have here is the Sonia Keshuk Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation. I'm so sad because um. Sonia Keshuk, I don't believe she makes makeup anymore. I don't know if she discontinued everything or what, but I purchased this from Target ages ago and it looks so sexy on the skin. So amazing. If you can find this, buy it. It's so beautiful. I don't have to mix this in with the oil and it looks so clean and fresh on the face. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Okay, we just have a few more left over here. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Wear Foundation. So Leah told me to get this when we did our like a Sephora swap situation video. Um, I don't like this foundation too much. I'm like, I hate everything, you know? No, but the thing is though, even when I mix this in with a foundation, I feel like it has a little bit of a thicker feel and it really emphasizes a lot on my face. But, I mean, I've only used it three or four times, so I definitely want to give it a little bit more of a test. But so far, from the times that I've used it, that's that's like what I felt about this. Um, it was pretty pricey, so I want to still get my use out of it and maybe I'll try to make it work a different way. Um, maybe I'll use it in Shop My Stash to really see if I like it or not. Then from there, I'll take it, you know? All right, keeping. Okay, next thing that I have here is this pixie h2o skin tint this is really nice i do like it i feel like it really doesn't give much coverage probably like very 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 light coverage it doesn't build up too easily and it's a great like tinted moisturizer to wear like in the summertime like if you don't want something heavy but you want something to be there um i'm thinking okay i'm gonna keep this for now i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep it <laughs> we're not doing too well Okay, the next thing that I have here is the It Cosmetics um, Solid Foundation, which is one that I've used quite a few times. It honestly, wasn't too crazy, crazy, crazy about it. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and give this to my sister. She really likes the It Cosmetics CC Cream, and she might enjoy this. And I know she is in need of like foundations and stuff. So since I'm not beyond crazy over it, I'm really, really happy to give it to her. So I'll go ahead and give this to her. So decluttering. Um, then I have the Bare Minerals Bare Skin um, Pure Bright Tint Serum Foundation. This is one that I recently purchased from Ulta, so I haven't tested it out yet. Therefore, I'm going to go ahead and keep it. A bunch of you guys said it's amazing, so I will keep it. Okay, then I just have these two foundations left. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick Foundation. I don't know, like, I, I bought this one and the Maybelline one at the same time, and I got more attracted to the Maybelline one. This one definitely has more product. Um, so I'm thinking to myself, like, do I need this or do I not, since I'm, like, already hooked up on the Maybelline one, you know what I'm saying? But then I kind of feel like it's a waste, because I really didn't give this one a fair, fair chance. So what I think I'm going to do is keep this, try to use it, and then take it from there. I have mine in the shade 404. And then with this, I think I'm going to give it to my sister. So I'm going to declutter this. This is the Matissimi Velvet Foundation by 
Givenchy, I want to say. Yeah, it's by the brand Givenchy. So I'm going to get rid of this and keep this guy. So let me see how much I got rid of and how much I'm keeping. Hopefully we hit the 14 like mark. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yay! Oh. Okay, so this is everything that I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. We literally hit it on the dot. There are 14 different foundations here. And I'm so excited to get rid of this because I know that it's going to go to people who are going to use it and love it. And it's not just going to be sitting in my drawer, you know? Um, and hopefully I won't miss any of these guys. I don't think that I will. I think, I think I'll be fine. And here are the foundation slash BB creams that I'm going to go ahead and keep for myself. So excited with the selection of foundations that I have now because now I could see everything and know what I love. So let me go ahead and organize this in my drawer drawers and see how much more appealing it looks to the eye. Oh my gosh, yay, this looks so much cuter and neater, right? Like, I really, really love how it turned out. I might go ahead and put like t um, BB creams in here. I was gonna say TT creams, what? Um, but I'll still see, like I'm still in the process of organizing. This foundation here is on its last leg, so it's gonna be gone hopefully in the next few days. And then with this one, I'm gonna decide if I like it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll just gift it. So I think, I think we did pretty, pretty good. So let me know if you guys think I did well or if you think I could have gotten rid of more or if you were like, no, why did you get rid of that one? What's wrong with you? So I hope you guys enjoyed Enjoy this declutter video definitely let me know if there were any products you recently decluttered i know it's like the new year we're kind of cleaning out and just organizing um so let me know if you guys decluttered anything for yourself and i will see you guys in my next video i love you bye